Welcome to the Verizon Center, uh, where the Blue Jackets bid for history. And consecutive wins fell just short tonight with a 5-0 loss. They end up with 16 wins, Aaron Portsline, second best in the history of the NHL. Not too bad. Your thoughts? Well, I, you could sense after the game, I thought, there was frustration in there. Obviously, they lost. There's disappointment. I think the frustration was they came this close to matching the record. They really wanted that record, you know? When you come this far, then you can almost taste it. I also thought, certainly with John Tortorella, there's a sense of relief, too, that, that this thing was starting to really gather some some storm, some some force here and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now they can take a, a bit of a breather on Friday. They get back to the regular season. They still feel like they've got a lot of work to do. They certainly feel like they have a long way to go, more than half the season left to play. Now that's going to return to a sense of normalcy. But what a great memory, what a great run. Yes, and, and that is reflected in, in Michael Ayres' column that will be posted online very soon. Mike, uh, you decided not to break down everything tonight, what happened. Uh, we can all see what happened and really take a, a long look at, at what the Blue Jackets accomplished over this last month. Yeah, just with the message that uh, it was so much they accomplished. Enjoy it, you know. But, you know, wade into it a little bit, wallow in it a little bit. And, and as I... At the end of the column, the takeaway is uh, they just played themselves in the playoffs in the span of 40 days. And uh, we're used to the flip side of that, the reciprocal, where um, you know they can't play themselves back in because they've dug, they dug so much of a hole. Well, they've piled on the Eastern Conference now, and it would take, I mean, just unprecedented set of circumstances for them to fail to make the playoffs. So that's what this streak did as much as anything, is it, uh, it got people in the front office prepping already for, for April. And we've all covered the Blue Jackets and, and big hockey games where the other team was the story. You know, guys, there were almost 100 media members here uh, from the New York Times, from Sports Illustrated, from USA Today. And they were here to see the Blue Jackets. Right, and they were planning to go to Columbus tomorrow. There was a TV crew from Columbus here. That blew me away. Right. Never seen right. that before. Yeah. I mean, just... just it is, it is, when you really step back, amazing how this team in a few months has gone from virtually unwatchable right. to almost unbeatable. Right. And have literally no expectations for this team, for this season. If anything, it was, you know, how bad are they going to be? How do they get rid of these contracts? And, oh, God, the expansion draft. All that stuff is shoved to the back. Burner now. And credit to the players, credit to the coaches, credit to the management for sticking with the right pieces, bringing in the right pieces. Still so far to go, but the way that this team played, this was, you don't win 16 in a row as a fluke, as, as Nick Foligno said. And and you, you saw a lot of them, a lot stole, of the games that they played. That, stole that one. Yeah, it was, I, think, I can't remember who said it. They played so crisp, so smart, so sharp, so hard. And, and it's just a dramatic change from last season. Uh, again, they get back to work. Off day tomorrow, they get back to work with two pretty big Metro Division games and now on with the rest of the season. And we'll find out really what this club's made of, how they handle the other side of this. I think they'll be fine. You know, you could feel it coming tonight, too. I mean, the Caps are, they've won 11 of their last 17. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, they're, they're the defending president's trophy winners, and, right. they're start, and they're playing like it right now. Right. Um, the Jackets put a lot of pressure on Holpe early. They weren't getting many bounces. They weren't getting anything by Holpe. And right. you can tell after that flurry early in the second period that they were... Absolutely. I'm not saying they were resigned to their fate, but they, they know this uh, script because yeah. they've played it on a, a lot of teams over right. the last 40 days. Okay, well, a, a tremendous run, and we'll be back uh, on Saturday... Uh, against the New York Rangers when the Blue Jackets play then, and then Sunday uh, against the Flyers. So uh, check out everything on uh, Dispatch.com, and we'll see you this weekend.